And that's because they're so close. That's as far as you can go back. Yeah, that's as far as we're going to go back. So that's too bad. Okay. Good morning, everybody. This is Prince of Peace Missionary Baptist Church. We are about to start our Sunday morning service. So glad that you're on with us. Now we'll have our devotion by the mouths, brothers and Brother Brown. I'm walking and talking with my heart. Say, oh Jesus. Abraham married again, and him was his new wife, and she bore him Zimar. Mm -hmm. um, and she bore him Zimar, Samar, Jokshan, Midian, Midian, Ishma, and Shula. Jokshan's two sons. Sons were now stealing my blessing. Oh, haven't you saved even one blessing for me? I read to you Genesis, uh, Genesis chapters 27, verse 36. Amen. This is the Lord. That Jesus is Lord. This is the house that God is building by his word. This is the Hope you have a wonderful church service. Amen. Amen. Thank you all for being here. Now we will have our Sunday school lesson taught by Reverend Owens. Good 
morning. Our lesson for today is salvation of Jesus. Wow. Uh, okay. The gospel reading is Psalms 19 and 14. Background Romans 10, 5 through 17. Hebrews is everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will. Be saved. Amen. Amen. Romans 10 and 13. Starts out with preaching the word. It covers 10, 5 through 13. And switch over. To tell the gospel, Romans 14 through 17. This particular lesson this morning, Paul's got so much in it, it's so packed up here. Yeah. That I wasn't really trying to remember all this. I mean, because had I tried to remember it, I'd have just screwed up. I just be honest with you. It, it's so impactful that you say, okay, I just. Read this part and do this part and look at and say, no, I can't stop right here. I got to go down to this part. Yeah. So I'm going to do a lot of reading this morning, y'all. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Start at verse five. It says, Moses writes this about the righteousness that is by the law. The person who does these things shall live by them. Six and seven says, but the righteousness that is by faith says, do not say in your heart, who will ascend into heaven? That is to bring Christ down. Or who will be seen into the deep? That is to bring Christ up from the dead. Just on that part right there. First thing, there is there are only two potential ways to obtain righteousness. The first one is by the law and being perfect, which is not going to be. The second is by receiving grace through faith. I'm going to say this more than once. We are not going to be perfect trying to obey the Mosaic law. That's right. It just ain't going to happen. Mm -hmm. That's why I said that real slow. It's not going to happen. There's only one person that was able to do it. And that was Christ himself. Even Moses, who brought the law down and gave it to the people. He didn't do it. So, see, the, they said the law is defined. The law is what defines sin and righteousness. If you don't, if you're not doing right, you see, mm -hmm. it's, just, it's, just, it's, it's, it's just like black and white. Mm -hmm. You're either doing it or you're not. Yeah. But Paul has already shown that no one obeys the law perfectly. Talks about that in Romans 3 and 23, but I mean, most of us got books. So, uh, see, so there is no one who can achieve righteousness through keeping the law. You're not going to get it trying to keep the law. Mm -hmm. And that's something to this, this first part of the lesson that cons consistently talks about. 
to go down to say the principle of righteousness by law keeping places the responsibility square on our shoulders. In other words, if you're going to try to do this, that's up to you. That's right. But it's, 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 it's on you. You can't blame nobody else when you screw up and don't make it. It's your fault. It's also in the six seven is saying, but the righteousness that is by faith says, do not say in your heart who will is sin into heaven. That is to bring Christ down. You know, I had to, I had to read over that a few times before I really caught on what they were talking about and what Paul was talking about. Mm -hmm. And then later in the lesson, I was uh, let me put it like this, I was ahead of myself. Not knowing that Paul was going to explain it to me way over in the lesson. So I'm going to put y'all ahead like I was trying to get ahead. It's saying here, don't be trying to bring Christ down from heaven. Because Christ came down from the cross. So don't worry about trying to do nothing on the downside about Christ. He did his part. And then it talks about descending into the deep. That is to bring Christ up from the dead. He's done that also. He come down from the cross. So that's where he is. And now he is defeated death and was raised from the dead. See, Paul has already drawn a distinction between the law that acquires works and the law that acquires faith. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Something that we've been taught, I guess, since us grown up, been in Sunday school years ago. Faith without works is dead. That, that, that little phrase right there, we've heard it over and over again. And here it is again. Letting us know that you got to have both. Right. One without the other. You don't have a suit on if you ain't got a pants and jacket. You got to have both of them on. Mm -hmm. that, that's the easiest way to say that. If you don't have both of them, you don't have a suit on. <laughs> Paul says he establishes that the righteousness obtained by faith is not based on our deeds or works of law. Even if we could perform supernatural actions, such as those described in those passages, that will not be enough to gain right standing with God. No, ma no matter how hard you try, no matter what you do, you know, we, we've come across a situation that we've done everything we could to solve a situation or, or do the right thing about a situation. And no matter how hard we try, that person we try to please, we never please. It is impossible for you to please God trying to just do right. Mm -hmm. It ain't what it's about. Okay. It's about doing right and it's about faith also. Mm -hmm. Faith. That's right. And works. Right. You got it, it. It's just a must. There's no way around it. Right. It's just like you got to have a key to start your car. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a must. It's right. It says, thus it is not good works or devoted effort that righteousness with God is obtained. Mm -hmm. Everybody. Okay. Mm -hmm. It said, B says confessing and believing. But what does it say? Mm -hmm. The word is near you. This is verse 8. Mm -hmm. The word is near you. It is in your mouth and in your faith. 
That is the message concerning faith that we proclaim. Christ's message is the word. And it's saying that his word is always near us. How is it near us? It's near us in our hearts and in our mouths. In other words, what you have in your heart, you need to take that and spread it to the world. To the world. That's why that's why I'm coming with that. You just when you are doing what you're supposed to do to the best of your ability, mm -hmm. you're supposed to take that because that's what's in the heart. Right. You're supposed to take that and let it come out your mouth. Right. That's the easiest way I can say that. See, if you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified. And it is with your mouth that you profess faith and are saved. I just spread this went over that point. You know, in your heart, those are two main factors in being saved. Your heart and your mind. Both believing and confessing are meant to be more than one-time actions associated with becoming a Christian. Just because you do this one time doesn't make you a Christian. Faith in Jesus and confessing of him as Lord must become a hallmark of a Christ-centered life. While living a godly life is critical, we must also be able to put our faith into his words. So again, heart and mouth. Put his word in your heart and let it come from your mouth. As scripture says, everyone who believes in him will never be put to shame. Young people, don't let your friends, because you go to church, shame you. You do your thing. Your thing is going to church. Your thing is believing in Christ. Your thing is believing in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Now, just because Sonny Boy don't believe in it, that's his problem. Mm -hmm. But Mary don't believe in it, that's her problem. Mm -hmm. Because you're on the right track. That's right. So don't ever be ashamed of your belief in Jesus Christ. That's right. But there's no difference between Jews and Gentiles. The same Lord is Lord of all and richly blessed and richly blesses all who call on him. You know, that's, that's another thing we've gone over a thousand times. Jews and Gentiles mm -hmm. in Christ's eyesight are one. That's right. It also said that in here, it says that the Jews don't have a monopoly on Christ. That's right. There is no monopoly That's right. on him. That's right. He, as long as you call on his name, mm -hmm. and as long as you believe, then he's with you. Yeah. That's the team he's on. Mm -hmm. He's not on the Jew team. He's not on the Gentile team. That's right. He's on both of those teams. Mm -hmm. Everything that he created, that's the team that he is on. That's right. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. If you confess in your heart that Jesus is Lord, I don't care who you are, what you look like, what you smell like, I don't care what it is. That's right. Mm. That's right. You will be saved. Be saved. That's right. 
That's what he say. I don't say that. I believe it. Mm-hmm. How then can they call on the one day? Let me start over. I want y'all to hear this some good. How then can they call on the one they have not believed in? And how can they believe in the one of whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone preaching to them? Mm -hmm. And how can anyone preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. Mm -hmm. The first part of that is something I've heard Sister Gavin has said a many times. Mm-hmm. How can you hear without a preacher? That's right. And she always made reference to our pastor. Mm-hmm. That's what he's praying for. Mm-hmm. He can't get the word over to us unless he mm-hmm. was sent. That's right. There's, you know, it's it, 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 they should have added that to it. You know when they say one faith and one baptism? Yeah. They ought to say one preacher per church. Or <laughs> rather one pastor per church. <laughs> but think about it. You can't have no two pastors in the same church. <laughs> and just like you women, put two of y'all in the same kitchen. What's going to happen? <laughs> you going to have too much salt in the food? It's going to be overdone. And y'all going to be squabbling. <laughs> so think even on one head <laughs> per church. I mean, that's my 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 belief. You know, mm-hmm. you can't have a one pastor. Yeah, that's what you can't have two of them. Right. That's right. That's right. You know, one of them gonna say go to the left, another gonna say go to the right. Right. That's why it's so beautiful that we got one Christ. That's right. That's all we got. You're right. That's the only one we can call on in His name. Mm-hmm. And receive if it's his will what we want. That's right. He's the only one we can call on in times of sickness, mm-hmm. financial problems, just whatever you can think of that's a problem. He's the one we got to call on. That's right. And nobody else we can call on. And guarantee that we're gonna get what we want if it's his will. Mm-hmm. That's right. Now I'm getting off the subject. We get back over here. Mm-hmm. It's mentioned in here about how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. You know, that was confusing at first, too. That's why it's good to read it. Read it. Read it. Don't read part of it quick. What that is saying or what it's talking about, you know, when you read, when you watch those old Roman pictures and you see somebody running through the, the village and stuff, declaring a word. In this case, they said the word was your God reigns. In other words, they have just won a war. And this guy was calling the herald, he's running through all the villages saying your God reigns. And they know when they hear that, that means we just beat somebody else. You know. Where they come with this, think about it. How they gonna come up with pretty feet? Mm-hmm. These hurdles is right up to the fact that they didn't have no Nikes and nothing on back then. They was either barefoot or sandals. And dirt gets in sandals. So what they tell you, their feet was dirty. So if their feet was dirty, they couldn't have had pretty feet. So the word pretty feet is not actually talking about their feet. Mm-hmm. It's actually talking about the message that they feed up with. Sixteen. But not all the Israelites accepted good news. For Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed our message? Consequently, faith comes from hearing the message. Mm -hmm. And the message is heard through the word about Christ. Here again, 
The word is in your heart. Mm -hmm. You need it flow, you need it flow from your heart to your mouth mm -hmm. to the people. If you go back as long, he, as long as his ministry was spread of why he was on earth. It wasn't spread to no newspaper, no radio, mm -hmm. not even a television. Yeah. But it was spread through other men carrying the word from their hearts to their mouth to the public. Public transportation by mouth. Mm -hmm. That's how the word was spread then, mm -hmm. and that's how it needs to be spread now. Thank you. Amen. 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 But I was sitting there and this lesson I think you it, it was really good. And uh it's uh bring it and you go out to the more. And uh just open the door when you come. But you know, one thing can't believe I heard this morning from him teaching is the one pastor thing because y'all been calling him pastor at times. Yes, they have. They have. All right. I don't know. They have. You know, they have started calling all all preachers all pastors, preachers, pastors. 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 They have. They do. They have. They, they are about to do it. it. Yeah. It's, it, it got so bad, yeah. You're right. That the churches you right. started tapping preachers, pastors, preachers, and pastors. They did. You're right. Pastor over this, pastor over that, pastor over that, pastor. And then it's just senior pastor was the main pastor. So now you got all these pastor titles, which is confusing. But they did it because people, people titled everybody. Pastor. Uh, Pastor Sodi. And, and that's the thing about the church. They they always run in the hand with folks and doing thinking that they satisfy You're right. people. You're right. And then all they're doing is causing more confusion, you know. You're but right. the church consists of people, so that's and they want folks to come and they feel like that's an up-to-date thing to do that. But that that has happened here. Yeah. I mean it did. Uh, but I didn't make no big deal about it because I just didn't feel like being moved by it, you know. Right. So, and he didn't make no big deal about it. He just let it go too. So, but not only that, but this this whole lesson about salvation, being of the all, yeah, is 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 so key. To what we we need to be about, because I'm telling you that we have uh, this. We're celebrating our holy month, you know, August. That we, we we won't be having a third place service, but we will have uh, our brother a, a special. The wrestling again uh, I'm off the road. But he likes to shoot bullets. And so, but he'd be, and he don't know the thing because that didn't have a thing when I, I called him. It takes time to get some of this stuff done. But I'm here to tell you, I got my thing halfway. So we're gonna, since we're here, we're gonna watch it this Sunday and, and see it develop. And so the theme centers around a message that says all in this together. It is. This pandemic, let me tell you something. And I, I would hate some folks are out because they need to be in here because I ain't going to be repeating myself over and over. 
And they ain't gonna know what I said. Ain't going to, and yet they was here at that church, you know, in the building. But we are all in this together. I, I, I was enjoying the Sunday you lesson so much. It was as if I was hearing, hearing about salvation and the essence of it and about Christ and how, what he means. It's like I was hearing it for the first time. I'm, I'm always I used to consider myself to be really smart, but when it comes to the Lord, when it comes to Jesus, when it comes to we are done. And we, 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 I was reading the other day how he talked about our thoughts are as far from his. They will. They just, I'm thinking about everything. And so anybody that thinks they got it, is just messing with themselves because you don't have it. You can't have it except for how the Lord put it on you. I, I can't tell you next week's revelation because next week is not here. God doesn't reveal things till he get ready. And if you so impatient that you don't want to wait till next week, then you, a lot of people go off and make up stuff for next week. Just to learn that a lot of what they made up in next week really is needed. It's unnecessary. It's just not relevant. And you don't know what next week is going to bring. So I'm giving out these bags as many as I can. Today, with all of that are here in the building, because it's going to be our thing all month that we are all, we y'all, we are all in this together. Don't nobody need me walking around thinking they got something more than somebody else. You know, you don't. You you don't know no more for yourself than anybody else. You, 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 that don't mean you don't go do that. You go do whatever you want to, but all of us do. But so what? You're about to sell and, and sitting on the side of the road and didn't know why. You know, and everybody else is still moving and you huh, what, what happened to me? Well, sometimes it's because you being told to do that to be safe, and sometimes it's because you you, you done got lost. <laughs> the only the Lord can help you understand the answer <laughs> to what's going on with you. But the beautiful thing about it is God is with us no matter what. Amen. We have a beautiful God who, who even if we get lost, right. it's in a tow truck, honey. Pick you up, put you back in the boat. And keep it moving. Amen. He ain't out there to embarrass you or make you look bad. God, we serve a good God. Yes, we do. And I was just sitting here with all this stuff that's going on. They said, you might need to bring man back. Look, so if I ain't put nothing out, but if you feel more comfortable wearing your, wear your mask. If you don't, you don't have to wear them. I ain't going to say nothing one way or the other. But if it gets bad now, you know, we're going to rethink, we're going to think as things go on. Just like we shut down the boat. I'm hoping we won't have to do it again. But I'm not saying we won't. Yeah. Amen. Amen. It's going to all depend on how things go. We're not going to sit here and try to predict tomorrow. I don't know what the future holds. I hope it's going to be better. Better days, but at the same time, yeah. nobody knows. Amen. But the Lord. That's right. Amen. That's the one we just need to get out to gird it in.
That's right. So deeply that he can easily lead us to where he needs us to go. That's right. So on that note, before we do any birthday stuff, so I'm, I'm going to walk uh, Stephen and Riley and uh, 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 Maki to come down here. Y'all can help me. Do you hear one of these facts? Everybody you can in the building and, and that does first. But I, I think I'm going to even hand one to all of the two children, everybody. I think that's the same. Y'all should put a straight in the mouth. Yeah, I'm not Go back there. I've been told you that. You can develop this thing for the whole month, holy month. Well, what do y'all do after the holy month? We read, don't worry about it. You just do good in August. Here's some more. We don't have enough, I, I got one more in the top. One bag per person. I got my best friend's bag with me. He told me to hold it. Okay. I know you're married. Happy. I know. Right. 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 If it's not, it, it's, okay. All right. So anyway, we're all in this together. If you don't know what I'm talking about, meaning together, yeah, it's a little, a little hot, 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 it is hard. It is hard. Reverend Garrison, just turn the ceiling fans on. Turn the ceiling fans on. Turn the ceiling fans on. I run there and didn't bother to run. They don't always run, right? And so I get some of us high, some of us told in between. Amen. All right. I'm high. Anyway. Thank you, Reverend Owens. We're going to get back back on track. So that's what we're doing this month. This is still holding my bus in the midst of this pandemic. And uh, nothing we can do about that, but just live with it. I pray that things get better for all of us, for the whole world. This is not a, 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 a country only pandemic. This is a world pandemic. Only God rules the whole world. Know what's going on. Amen. 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 Let me get back to where I'm supposed to be. Birthday. Okay. Did I have a birthday for today? Uh huh. I gave them to you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. We had a beautiful time. Also, we baptized two last week, and oh, they might hear them. But man, we had a great time. And Elder Ray. Owens and uh, and the Nats, they both got that task. <laughs> we had a good time, boys. My pastor, more than all the way on me. You can't that task in no swimming pool. I said, I need to black task you. You need to come out right here and I'll show you. <laughs> but we had a great time. We had a great time in the Lord. Baptized, I was, oh, it was good. So I want 
want y'all to be aware of that. Then the birthday, uh, Tristan's birthday, Tristan, uh, Hunter, right? Yeah. His birthday was when? It's this week. It's been this week, okay. And then Sister Sheila Smith. Birthday is this week. Birthday is this week. Is anybody else's birthday this next week? Hold on, only two I have. So come on down, Sister Sheila Smith. Got this beautiful color to that. Real pretty with the no one and anything. Give me that. Somebody's gonna buy you something really pretty. <laughs> I don't know who it's gonna be. I should have went the other way. Got to move the other way to come out of here. Yeah, there you go. All right, sister. She was Smith, you know, so she had a, a, pretty, a pretty birthday blessings. Every year is another chapter that feels with the plans he has written just for you. I hope today is only the beginning of a new joy, of new joys and special blessings in your life. This is very nice for you. Your scriptures made a God of hope fill you with all joy and peace, Romans 15 and 13. We want to say happy birthday to Sister Sheila Smith. Man, I want one of our grandkids to man say happy birthday <laughs> to her. Amen. I both of them, I both of them come. When I'm hurry. You don't know you're a grandchild. I'm sorry. Yeah. You see? That's how we've been doing that, getting the folks. He's saying both of them. Come out, David. She won't vote for y'all that. Yeah, Amen. Oh, she says she's your favorite and won't come. Oh, my goodness. There must be some problems going on there. Okay. Go ahead, get it. <laughs> Stay loud, though. Everybody can hear you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Granny. Happy birthday to you. Amen. You can't give a hug, dude. All right, that's good. Uh, we're going to move on. We got a song coming at this day. No, wait for the sun. Let's go, stop Thank you. 
That's right. And have room to be full. Sometimes we didn't know it was even coming. That's right. You knew. That's right. We didn't know anything. We're just that good. So we're saying thank you, God. Praying that you continue to bless us, Lord, as only you can. Even when doors get shut in our face sometimes, Lord. Uh, hopes that we thought 
this and thought that and were wrong. Mm -hmm. You still even take those hopes and turn them into new hopes and open doors. So we just say thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you to bless as only you can. Mm -hmm. Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 And then we have to do our little Lord and Supper. <laughs> you didn't don't have a you see you went they come through. And, uh, don't open them until we get everybody has one to get ready. So, while they're doing that, I've tied the offering to, to get a little with your name on it all and leave the money over here. We don't walk, walk, walk around and all that anymore. Not right now, anyway. Also, this first Sunday, so this is Master Day Sunday, so Master usually the special mission given for that for the Pastor Day. Does anybody have one there? Union kind of can go fast, but it's how meaningful because it says she showed forth the death and burial resurrection of Jesus Christ, which had that not happened for us, we wouldn't have salvation. At this time, we're going to pray. Yes. Father God, we ask you to give us our sins, transgressions, iniquities. Lord, uh, as we stop to remember how you died, your son Jesus died on Calvary's cross. Why I see it. Just want to say thank you for salvation, Lord. Pray that you forgive us of our sins for anything that would make this not a blessing to us. And in Jesus we pray. Amen. 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 If you they come in, offer them what the Lord you couldn't do well to take you cups. Go to your bread first. I usually uh, screw mine up first. But it's okay. Eventually get it to work. You get ready to say amen. Amen. All y'all too, honey. Oh, yeah. But it's still struggling with me. Thank you. 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 Thank I ain't used to get my dinner no way. Amen. I got it now. Be quiet. It's just a minute. All right. Does everybody have their supper ready? Have they bread ready where they can get to it? No. Who said no? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. No. 
still being operated on. Okay. If I now? No. Who's saying no? Me. Who's saying me? Me. You said <laughs> Give me a bad cup, see. Is it doing it? It's open in there. It's open in there. Okay. It wasn't just me, see. Me, it ain't my education that stuff. Me. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. All right. Are we ready? Everybody ready? All right. So take the bread. This represents the body of Jesus. That he they break it. He wants you to partake in this. So eat ye all of it. One of the things we're going to do is explain it. And some school lesson. Don't let nobody call you stupid because you do this. I'd rather be thought stupid than to really be stupid by not doing it. Amen. Amen. He's dying on the cross by our sins. This is the way we're supposed to remember. It's about partaking, showing that we don't man. He is flesh. His flesh is spirit of us. Amen. It's not really flesh. It's really spirit. Amen. Now we go to the cup. It represents the blood. It came streaming down. He was hanging on the cross. Like I said, it's for the remission of sin. Jesus was a sacrificial lamb. But God always required sacrifices to sin. But we have salvation. Everybody had the cup. Amen. Available to them where Amen. they can drink. Amen. Amen. All right. Drink ye out of it. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You know what you got to stop. All right. Straighten your face out right now. Straighten your face. All right. Young star, when you stop, I don't care. We can still do that. All right. Let's hear that next song. I'm not a 
Pray for our kids going to school in a couple of weeks. I know I think one of ours is going back next week and the next one we're going back the next week after that. So just for this school year with all of the, the stuff that's going on in the world and stuff, just pray for our kids. Oh, man. Yeah. 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 Special prayer for myself, my entire family, um, the Murphy, my co workers, brother, Ronald, um, my husband, Anthony, travel on the highway, and just our entire church family and children. And Gordy, David Pools, and Howard Hyden, and any other, anyone else that's part of this. Special prayer for Derek Lewis Jr. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
protect him. The parents can't seem to protect him, so, but you can. So God, we just say, thank you for your protection. Bless the speaker as he comes today. Yeah. Lord, continue to bless our pastor wife and like I said, the rest of my family. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen.
That's right. 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 That's
I said, you know, when it comes to Black History Week or Black History Month, we're reminded that we are Black all year. Yeah, yeah. So we don't really need a Black History Week or Black History Month. But I said, now with Holy Month, we really do need that because we ain't holy all year. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm glad you do have a designated month. Notice that Shemet had the loudest, amen. <laughs> Keep Holy Month just for Shemet so that one month out of the year, one, one month out of the year, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> amen, amen. I'm going to ask that you turn with me to Acts chapter 12. Acts chapter 12. Gonna be familiar territory for some of us. This is literally true. As soon as Pastor Garrison asked me if I would preach today with, without any hesitation, I don't know why, but my mind went immediately to Acts chapter 12 as God prompted me. I tried to change it to something else. And he said, no, right back to, to it. Uh, and I and as I said, and I listened this morning, I now see why. And I even see why it was expanded just a little bit from what we would usually do as we come to this text. I'm going to look at you, God. I didn't even know. And so I'm going to read from the NIV as I usually do. And I want to read verses um, 1 through 5 in verse 12. Okay. Uh, Acts chapter 12, starting in verse 1. It was about that time that King Herod arrested some who belonged to the church, intending to persecute them. He had James, the brother of John, put to death with the sword. When he saw that this met with approval among the Jews, he proceeded to seize Peter also. This happened during the festival of unleavened bread. After arresting him, he put him in prison handing him over to the guard to, to be guarded by four squads of four soldiers each. Herod intended to bring him out of public trial after the Passover, verse 5. So Peter was kept in prison, but the church was earnestly praying to God for him. Verse 12. When this had done on him, he went to the house of Mary, the mother of John, also called Mark, where many people had gathered and were praying. Many people gathered and were praying. After much prayer, after much consternation, after much deliberation, after asking God, exactly how should we approach this text. I mean, God just gave Raymar revelation. Somebody said you can't get revelation last this week or next week. So God just gave that just out of, I mean, just dropped from heaven revelation. And I mean, it is such a good topic that I think it ought to be marketed. I think it ought to be branded. I think it ought to be on bags. I mean, just out of nowhere, y'all, you wouldn't believe it. But I want to tag this text all in this together. <laughs> I mean, that's so good. We ought to just mark with that, Eric. I mean, I mean, you know, I, I just see my kids you got here, man. So seriously, would you repeat after me? All, all in this, in this together. together. One more time. All, all in this, in this together. together. Seriously. That's what I want to preach this morning. All in this together. together. All right. When we come to this story of Peter in prison, it says again in verse one in the NIV, it was about this time that the king Herod arrested some who belonged to the church. Yeah intending to persecute them. We have familiar texts where if we don't watch ourselves, we can read over the text so fast that we miss what is there along the way. For some of you wouldn't know, but you know, beyond simply you know driving and driving fast as I do, 
There are times that beyond driving through my neighborhood or driving down the street, that there are times that I want to be the passenger because I have learned that you see more in the passenger seat than you do the driving seat, driver's seat. In fact, just yesterday, I had already just been down 67 North to 35 heading into the downtown earlier in the day as the driver. And I went down the exact same uh, lanes in terms of 67 North to 35 North to downtown later in the day. And I saw something in the afternoon that I hadn't seen in the morning. And it wasn't because of change. I mean, there were gang, uh, gang graffiti on the walls, the new, the new walls, the new construction there on 67 as the streets are being uh, widened. I saw something different as a passenger than I did as a driver. Wait, I'm headed somewhere, but that's still a passenger in the car. I, I've got a bicycle, and even at this age, I like to ride my bicycle. And one of the reasons that I really, really like to ride the bicycle as a road bike, not a, not a trail bike, but a road bike, a street bike, is because I get to see things on the bicycle that I would have missed in the car. Wait, wait. But when I'm out on the bicycle, I try my best to get six to 10,000 steps in a day on the days that I do it. And when I walk, I see stuff walking that I never would have seen on the bicycle, that I never would have seen as a passenger in the car, that I never would have seen driving by. Why did I say that? It's because some texts are so familiar to us. It's like our own neighborhood where we just we just go by stuff that's right there in the text and we never see it. So I want to slow down in the text because it says it was about this time. Yeah, yeah. What time is the question that's going to come in just a moment? But it says it was about this time. And if you miss the time that it is, yeah, yeah. then you miss everything that comes after the time. You know, in terms of August of 2021, it was about this time. Yeah, yeah. Anybody knows that August 2021 is not the same as August 2019? That's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But about this time, in terms of things that have happened, even from August of last year until today, it was about this time. Because this time, in terms of the last time that we were at Holy Week, we were not beyond 600,000 COVID deaths. About this time, you know, this time, just a month ago, then the governor DeSantis in Florida was celebrating and pointing to New York and, and to uh, California as states of breakouts and bragging about how he wasn't going to have a three-year-old wearing a mask and how you going to drink a beer wearing a mask. But about this time, now the epicenter of the breakout is in the place when he's made a mockery of it, it was about this time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And so he says, it was about this time that King Herod arrested some yeah. who belonged to the church. He didn't say he arrested everybody. It says that the king went after some, went after the ones who would stand out, went after the ones who were not trying to perpetrate or hide. We're not the ones who were bold and public witnesses for Christ. So it says that the king uh, uh, went after some who, wait, don't rush by too fast, who belonged to the church. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. All in this together. Right. Says it was at the time yeah. that the king went after a few of the folk, but the ones that he went after we're not the ones who used to yeah. belong. Right. The ones who kind of are related to someone who belong. Yeah, yeah. The ones who sort of claim but ain't been seen, whether in the building yeah. or on Zoom. Yeah. But it says the king went after the ones who actually belong yeah. That's right. to the church. Yeah. yeah. Intending to persecute them. Yeah. Right. He had James, the brother of John, put to death with the sword. And when he saw that this met the approval of, of the Jews, he proceeded to seize pizza, Peter also. And this happened to be the time of the unleavened bread. And so then it says, 
that he arrests him, he puts him in prison, he hands him over to the guards, and when he hands him over to the guards that he intended to bring him out to public trial after the Passover. So verse 5 says again, so Peter was kept in prison, yeah. but the church right. was earnestly right. praying to God for him. Yeah. Wait, it said that Herod was after them. Right. Herod was after at least some of them. Herod had already demonstrated what he was willing to do by killing John and making him an example. It had already been proven that the Jews then approved of this, that they were excited about this, that they were for this, that there, that there were a certain set of people who would publicly uh, praise the king for doing this, that there were some who sat on the side and was excited about what happened. Everybody didn't see it the same way, but it says that after that, then the church, yeah. the same ones that the government was coming after, the church, the same ones who had been persecuted, the church, the same ones who were not sure what the outcome was going to be, the church that God's people, those who belong to the church, were earnestly yeah. praying to God for him. That's right. When we all in this together, can I tell you one evidence that we all in this together? Yeah, yeah. All you have to do in terms of the belonging test is ask the question of who are those who engaged enough that when the pressure is on the church and particularly the leader of the church that you know that they're praying with you. Yeah. 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 Because see, praying is different from playing. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Praying That's is right. different yeah. from yeah. straying. That's right. yeah. That's right. Praying is different from saying. That's right. And when you go through something, particularly as the leader of the church in this time, we're all in this together. Yeah. When you know that you've got some folk who are earnest, meaning seriously, yeah, yeah. meaning honestly, yeah. meaning passionately, right. meaning personally, yeah. praying for you. Right. I'm not just talking about the leader of the church, but the leaders of the church, and not just the leaders of the church in terms of names and titles and position. But yeah. wherever you are, wherever you sit, wherever you sit today, here's the question when you're going through something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who is it that you can count on? All right. That you know is praying for. Yeah. yeah. All right. Earnestly. Yeah. I don't mean no, oh, sister, you know, I pray for you. I don't mean the one that says, call me if you need something. You know I need something. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you call me? Yeah. Well, I don't mean the one where I hear it that you go on to the doctor. I hope it goes well. And I, you check with me in a few days. No, I'm talking about the one who earnestly, That's right. who yeah. seriously, That's right. yeah. who passionately, That's right. who personally calls your name. Prayer. Can I just say something about yeah, that? Yeah. Don't take that for granted. That's right. right. If you've got anybody in your life That's right. that you know remembers you in prayer, That's anybody right. in your life That's right. rejects on you from right. time That's to right. time, yeah. anybody yeah. in your life That's right. who cares enough that when you, like Peter, drop off the scene, right. they don't just keep going on, but they stop and close ranks and want to know what's going on with you, and they don't just let you disappear, that's and that's it. If there's anybody in your life, you ought to thank God. That's right. Yeah. 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 Why? Yeah. Because we all in this together. Yeah, yeah. Watch this. In terms of y'all, the all y'all yeah. are not the people that Peter looked around and saw. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. I just went over your head. <laughs> <laughs> the all y'all yeah. are not the ones who are closest to him. Yeah, yeah. The all y'all are not the men who were shackled with him. Yeah. The all y'all were not necessarily the ones that he couldn't get away from right then. 
He, all y'all were not the ones that he was in prison with in the same situation with tied to because those folk were paid to be there. Yeah. Am I the only one who knows what it's like to be in a in a work situation at time to time and have folk around you and you come to the reality of knowing that the ones who are closest to you are not necessarily the ones who are praying for you. The ones who are shackled to you, the ones who are in the same situation like this, the ones who are paid to be there are not necessarily the ones who you can count on. And in fact, the reason that they are close to you is to keep you locked up. The reason they are close to you is so they can check on what you're doing. The, one, the reason they are close to you is to keep you from progressing. The ones that are close to you understand that they have been given an assignment to watch Peter because of Peter is filled with potential and possibilities. And the, and the fact that you've got guards around you, the fact that you've got folks watching you, the yeah. fact that you have people checking on you, the fact that you have people who are trying to shackle you might just be the indication that God has something special for That's you. Right. Yeah. It just might be That's the indication right. that folk know your power and your potential. Right. It might be the indication that it is just before God promotes you that folk try to hold you down. Yeah. Let, 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 hey, let, let them be shackled if they want to. Yeah. For me, if you're close to me, you're going to learn so. <laughs> if you're close to me, we're going to compromise. So if you're close to me, That's I'm right. going to get insight from you while we're going through it. That's right. That I can use later because I know that That's just right. because I'm in this situation or this season right now, this yeah. ain't the end of the story. You're right. You're right. Just You're because right. I'm tied down right now, that ain't the end of the story. That's right. That's Just right. because That's it looks right. like you've got the upper hand right now, that ain't the end of the story. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just letting the That's clock right. and That's the right. calendar roll on because for some of us, we've seen this before. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You know, Peter, what is so interesting about this is when it comes to this thing, of Peter being in prison, y'all, Peter had the kind of personality, and I ain't saying I know his whole record, but he has the kind of personality that I just believe there are a few other reasons that he could have easily been in prison before now. <laughs> I mean, we know when he got to the guard, he was carrying a switchblade. Yeah. He didn't have to find a switchblade. He already had one. We know that when, that he pops off at any time. We know that he has a personality that when Peter is in a room, he always talks up first. We know that he's impulsive. We know that he makes decisions in the moment. We yeah. know that he gets angry and upset. We yeah. know that he'll take you out in a minute. Yeah. So he could have easily been here before. Yeah, yeah. But isn't it something that he would be here now? Yeah. So the night happened, the angel shows up, the angel then takes him through the steps where once he takes him through the steps, then he, he shows up, a light comes, and he strikes him on the side, he, he checks him, he wakes him up, he tells him to get up, and the chains fell off. Yeah, it, yeah. it says that he, he woke him up, and he, he shook him, he, he got his attention, and yeah, he yeah. got him up, and then he he said, quick, I want you to get up. And then once he got up, the chains fell off. Wait, yeah. wait, I told you, sometimes we go through the neighborhood too fast. Sometimes we ride through the text too fast. Because yeah. some of us are waiting for God to break every chain. Hear me? Yeah. And God's saying, I'm waiting for you to get up. <laughs> you want the chains to fall off first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you get up and leave. Wherever it is that you should be. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, say that again. You want the chains to fall off first. And then you get up and not be tied in the relationship that you're tied in. And God says, now what I want you to do is wake up, get up, get out of here. And if you take a step that looks like you're going to change, then the chains will break up. So watch this. The change comes before the chains. Yeah, yeah. We want God to remove the chains, but we don't want to change. But God don't 
knows that if you don't change, then the chains can come off and you will still stay right where you are. Thank God. Now that the, now that the chains have come off, now I don't have any restrictions where I am. Now that the chains have come off, I don't have any limits where I am. Now that the chains have come off, I can do whatever I want to do where I am. God says, no. I'll send an angel. Yeah. I'll bring in a light. Yeah. I'll shake you to get your attention. But if you don't get up, <laughs> the chains might as well stay here. Because prisons are usually internal before they're external. We're usually locked in prison on the inside yeah. before we're locked in prison on the outside. It is the prison that we're in prison in that places us where we are. That's right. That's right. You know, what happens here about Peter is that Peter did not choose to be here. They went there going somewhere. I, I can't blame Peter for being in prison because it says that Herod marked him out and Herod came after some of the church. And it's not that he chose to be here is that he was caught and captured. But he was caught and captured because of what he was called to do. He was called to take a stand for Jesus Christ. He was called to not be scared. He was called to speak out. He was called to be up front. So he didn't choose this, but he did as he chose Christ. Right at a level that would mean he was caught and captured. Can I tell you why you as free as you is free? Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. yeah. they didn't say they word about you. <laughs> the devil don't care about you. You ain't shaking up anything. You don't have him scared and running. You ain't causing him any problems. You, you, you don't have any agenda where you have taken a serious stand for Christ. And so your going alone is fine. Your nice job is fine. Your house is fine. Your yeah. children are fine because say they worried about you. Yeah. But take a stand. Yeah. <laughs> Be bold for Christ. Yeah. Live what you are see, saying. Yeah. And sometimes it is that choice right. that gets us caught and captured. Yeah. But it's not the end of the story because we're all in this together. So then the angel said to him, put on your clothes and sandals. And Peter did so. Wrap up your cloak around you and follow me. And the angel told him, wait, we read too fast. <laughs> How do you know? How do you know that you're at the point of a serious change from the chains? It is you're no longer exposed. You're no longer connected. Yeah. You're no longer hanging out. He says if there's a real change, one thing that you will do Man or woman is put some clothes on. <laughs> I'm not talking about this whole outside of Prince of Peace. <laughs> Saying some of those of our concerns, yeah, yeah. some of the babies of this church, when I say babies, I don't mean babies, I mean the babies who make babies, but some of the babies of this church, if we just get, get to get up, yeah. to leave out, yeah. So put some clothes That's right. on. Yeah. To wrap yourself. Yeah. That would be the greatest evidence. You don't have to sing a song. Yeah, do you don't have to give a testimony. Yeah. You don't have to give a prayer. Right. You don't have to even give an offering. All you have to do is be willing to get up. Get up. You're right. To leave out. You're right. To put some clothes on. To wrap yourself right. and to leave. And that would be the sign of God's deliverance in your life. That's right. Yeah. So it says, so then after that, Peter followed him out of the prison. Yeah. But he had no idea that the angel was what was doing was really happening. He thought he was seeing a vision. What do I learn from this? Is that you don't always have to understand God's direction to follow the thought. Right. 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 You don't have to understand to obey. Them. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to have all your questions answered to take 
the first step. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think he went from sure. He didn't get it. He didn't know if it was a dream. He didn't know if he was seeing stuff. He didn't know if it was an illusion. He thought it was a vision. He didn't really get it. He had no idea what was happening. Yeah. But maybe if you need idea and understanding and clarity and information and details first, you'll be stuck where you start. That's right. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So they passed through the first gate, the second gate, the iron gate, and it opened. And every time they uh, went to a gate, it opened before them as they were at that point. And then it says, suddenly the angel left him. And then Peter came to him and said, and said now I know without a doubt that the Lord has sent his angel and rescued me from Herod's clutches and everything the Jewish people were hoping to have. He says, now that I'm out, now that I walked out, now that I'm free, I know without a doubt that this was an angel of the Lord and he sent him, but here's where I am. Yeah. But then this text, verse 12 then says, when this had dawned on him, he went to the house of Mary, mother uh, of John, also called Mark, where many people had gathered and were praying. Yeah. yeah, God sent an angel. Mm -hmm. Yes, God sent a messenger. Yeah. But when Peter gets to this point, remember when I said that it's not about saving and straining and playing? When Peter gets to this point, notice this, that it is only when he is out, yeah. it's the first time that Peter says anything. In every text where you see Peter, Peter opens his mouth as soon as he's yeah, in, yeah. as soon as he's on the scene. Yeah. Peter always has opinion, always has word, always has something to say. And in this case, he's not saying anything until he's out. And he says that he acknowledges that it was God who sent the angel. But Peter got news for you. Yes, God sent the angel, but he sent the angel because the story begins. And ends with this, that the church oh, yeah. was praying. That's right. That's right. That he was captured. That's right. But the church was praying. Yeah. He was caught. That's right. But the church was praying. Yeah. That here, that because the church was praying, yeah. the church's prayers did not prevent what happened. Right. But when the church's prayers did not help in prevention, it helped in terms of Herod's intention yeah. and it provided protection for him. That's right. That's Here's right. my end. Not just in terms of this text, but in terms of where we are in this time. Here's your assignment, Prince of Peace. Who's the Peter now? Oh. Not who's the leader, who's the Peter? <laughs> who's the Peter now? Whether male Peter or female Peter, Priscilla, at whatever name you want to, who's the person now that in this holy month, the church ought to be praying for? That's right. Who's the person in the family that yeah. the church ought to be praying for? Yeah. Who's the person who's caught up in something that the church ought to be praying for? That's right. Who's the person that you know is in prison, whether a physical prison an emotional prison, a chemical prison, a relational prison, a financial prison, a social prison. Who's the person in prison now? And it's not going to help us to just talk about it. That's right. It's not going to help to talk about what happened when. What if there was such a power? That the church says to the Peter and the Priscilla, we ain't going to let you go. That's right. Why? Because we're all <laughs> in this together. Amen. Amen. Be pretty good. <laughs> I spent some with him. Didn't tell him what to preach. A lot of that didn't take. I think he preached bad. 
First of all, I couldn't tell him nothing because I didn't have nothing. You know, I asked him to preach. And I got this from my favorite store, Walmart. My theme was at Walmart. It was. And I bought every last bag that they had. And, uh, and I said, I started calling Reverend Little Bay. Tell him. I said, no. <laughs> I'm gonna let him show me uh -huh. that he's gonna preach on this thing. Wow. Uh -huh. When Reverend Owen got a preach and started talking about the saints he blessed, uh -huh. my soul got happy. I said, wow. Uh -huh. You know, it, it's one thing I've never worried about at Prince of Peace uh -huh. that we all seem to be on one accord. That's right. That's no matter right. who it is. That's right. No matter where they come from. You're right. The, the Lord fixes it that they know what to say uh -huh. to us. That's right. They may be talking something else to some other church. When they come here, that's right. That's they talk to right. us. That's right. The way we are. That's Amen. right. And, and and this has been going on for years. You're right. So I am so if that message ain't for me, mm -hmm. I said, well, ain't you worried? And I ain't worried about nothing. I'm, um, I'm most worried about myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That I don't mess up my way mm -hmm. with the Lord. Yeah. I remember my pastor, G.B. Prince, back at Progress, they had built the church, who built it, like a miracle, yeah, paid for it. If they had money, I mean, Lord had blessed them. That's right. And, and I'm sitting there thinking, to be impressed, talked one day, and he, he sang a song. Yeah. To Lord, he said, show me the way. That I may get home. And he seen yeah. it. It wasn't a happy summer. It wasn't a happy world. So it wasn't that he was happy with the with this new building. That building was gorgeous. It was outstanding. It was just ambitious. It was out of sight. But yet wasn't what he was saying. He wasn't saying bragging and boasting. He was just saying, show me the way. Uh -huh. And I didn't understand back then. But world stuff, I mean, I like this, but show me the way uh -huh. that I can get home because there's a difference yeah. in people, the world, and God. Amen. And you better learn that. That's right. Everybody, you think is with you, ain't with you. He just preached it. He preached a good sermon. Yes, Thank you. That's all. Man, we've had a good yeah. service all the y'all saw him. That's right. Good. Everything has That's been good. great. That's right. Nothing <laughs> left of what the Lord gonna do next. That's right. Amen. Amen. So the door to stand up with another Christian friend, can they come to the you here today? And you need to accept Christ and you've never done it. I have to do that because you may be here. You need to accept Christ. And uh, we will take you in. Amen. Amen. So they're going to say something about it. This is what that means. <laughs> Go ahead, there. You are holy, oh, so holy. You are holy, oh, so holy. What a privilege and honor to worship at your throne. 
to come into your presence as your own. You are worthy, oh, so worthy. You are worthy, oh, so worthy. What a privilege and honor to worship at your throne, to be called into your presence as your own. You are faithful, oh, so faithful. Oh, baby, you are faithful. Oh, so faithful. What a privilege and honor to worship at your throne, to be called into your presence as your own. I can search the heavens high. I can search the earth below, and there is no one. There is no one, no one. I can search the heavens high. I can search the earth below, and there is no one. There is no one. But you are holy, oh, so holy, oh, you are holy, oh, so holy, oh, what a privilege and honor to worship at your throne. To be called into your presence as your own. Amen. 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 It was used by God Amen. that came today to help us celebrate the Lord. Amen. Yeah. Here on this first Holy Month Sunday celebration. Amen. Amen. And as we uh, usually ask each family for one hundred dollars for the month for the Holy Month and. Uh, Still paying on the building, some of the things that they had had for, for the building. We're still doing things. So we have to have faith. That's uh, right. Keep That's right. All this stuff going. Amen. Amen. God is faithful to the <coughs> to bless us. Amen. Amen. The miles is my favorite. I know I didn't get to worry about what was going on, but I don't think she feels good or something. Feet are swollen. I know about that. Anyway, so we'll be praying for her. I'm mean, glad to see Sister but Clinton. I'm not going to let her say nothing because we have missed. She, she, she may not have a good word coming in. <laughs> We have been missing each other on that phone, mm -hmm. and I'll be honest with you to show you how dirty I've been. I didn't do COVID though. Okay. Have <laughs> I told y'all? Okay. Yeah. I, I told her she tell me how all this is going I said, I said, well, send me your cash out something. I'm going to send you some money, go buy you some food or something. And I'm sitting there, I think it was Friday night, and I thought, and this was like, Tuesday, something like that, too. You know, finally thinking about it again Friday night. She could have just started there by then. I'm just out of her recovery. Then I thought, she didn't send me nothing either, but it's just 
my man, y'all, I'm serious. When you get old, <laughs> the conversation you have at two o'clock, yeah, it's gone so by two or five. <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. And you you talk to old people, you got you to follow up. You got to follow up. <laughs> because it falls out, and it didn't come back to, to three days later. <laughs> Not intentional, but it just that was like that. I was like, oh my God. I'm okay. Okay, you okay? We used you such a bad. Thank God, man. So no, Pastor Moore likes to you know the dog me. Gosh, suppose I'd have been dead. You well, you would be dead. Yeah. <laughs> if you were dependent on me, you, I called you. You you didn't okay. I'm not God. I wouldn't call me if I was you. Amen. <laughs> Better call, call them real Jesus. <laughs> Amen. So anyway, we're just pray. Glad that everybody, everybody here, that message was so good. Yes, it was. And it really even. Yes, it was. Yeah. Y'all be honest with you. Somebody, mm -hmm. this this country, mm -hmm. but that resurrection mm -hmm. mess, insurrection mess that went on. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody doing nothing about it. See, they tried to, but for them to be trying to arrest people, you, 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 you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Who trying to stand up for voting rights? Trying to see that's this this the same type of thing. Right. You see right. people bold enough to say, "I'm gonna arrest you." Yeah. I'm like, did they do something that bad? Right. See, I mean, yeah. they arrest one and don't nobody do nothing about it. The rest more. Yes, it did. The, the, they have just pick somebody and then see how the crowd act. The crowd don't if the crowd don't act upset, we gonna arrest some more y'all. You're right. And then why can't we go back on See, they want to blame everything on us anyway. I'm just saying, just like that go on. They're like we we ain't the one. That's right. But we don't want to have to stand up because we don't want to suffer the most in the evening. Amen. 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 So we better, the church better learn to pray. That's right. That's right. Better learn to pray. Right. And you know what? As long as you got dark skin, they bad, you really easy. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> you can't have it. You cannot right. have it. Right. Amen. Amen. So we're grateful. Thank God for everything. <laughs> Katie, you want to say anything? Ain't nothing to say. We're happy to hear it. See you at the Helen's time to hear today. Amen. We're going to say I got you to the beach church back there. You met to, to, to check out. We hope things are getting better for y'all too. So. Everybody is grateful to see everybody uh, come out to all y'all, uh, even those that are still on Zoom as well. All right, so at this time, Brother Lowell is going to come back uh, with the last word and the benefits. Thank you again, Brother Lowell. The offering tray is over here. That way, you're going to leave your money. Yeah, we're not exempt from that. I'm sorry. Things I love, I, I don't know how to make things perfectly smooth right now. We still keep it a half Zoom style thing because we don't know what we're going to have to transition around. But so far, everything's going pretty good. Amen. Let the church say yeah. Everybody say yeah. Let everybody say yeah. Everybody say yeah.
to know that our power does not come simply in Satan, but in prayer. Yes. And God, I pray that we would uh, spend more time speaking to you yes. about those who are on our hearts and our concerns and simply just talking to them about their own selves and situation. God, yes. we uh, ask that you would um, demonstrate your power to them. And God, that as a church, as a church body, for those who belong to this church, yeah. to Prince of Peace, yes. that we will claim them as our own, yeah. whether they are physically here or not, God. Right. And we pray, God, for the Peters and the Priscilla's, God, yeah. for those that we know by name yeah. and know that you know by name, That's right. that you would deliver them, that you would bring them back into the fold, yeah. and that even as happened in the house, that we would celebrate together. Yeah. And that in the meantime, we wouldn't give up simply because of what someone is called up or entrapped in, yeah. but that we'll believe you for their deliverance. We yeah. know that you can and that you will, right. that you still are a great deliverer. That's in the Son's name, we pray and praise you. Amen. 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 Sure, <laughs> 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 